popular singer Davido has sued his baby mama. At this point, he is demanding for joint custody of his daughter, Imadi. You guys, welcome to the channel. It is The Real Show. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. So Davido has a daughter, Imadi, with this is actually his first daughter he had with Sophia Momodu. Sophia is an influencer and a businesswoman. She's also the niece of Dele Momodu. A lot of you know Ovation um, owner Dele Momodu. So Davido and Sophia had um, Imade years ago and they had a thriving relationship. Everything was looking good, you know. <laughs> you know I guess like, they felt like it was going to be a happily ever after situation. But as we can see, it wasn't. After they broke up, there was back and forth. Remember when Davido sang Delena, my guy? Yes, yeah, so even threw shade at Sophia's uncle, who is actually his big uncle, supposed to be his father's father. <laughs> so, you guys, the shade has been going on for a while, but I guess everybody has matured and, you know, scores has been settled and they, they came back together because even later on, so I seen Davido attending Imade's birthday parties. They were always throwing birthday parties for Imade. That's Davido and Sophia. Even when his daughter Imadi launched her product, um, he was there, supportive father and all that stuff. So after a while, this uh, relationship seemed to be like back together, but it, it wasn't because there was trauma now in the picture and trauma was very, very much in the picture. But nobody understood what the relationship was with um, Sophia and Davido. Was it just baby mama, baby dada, or was there more to it? Nobody but knows. At the moment, Davido is clearly in a serious relationship with Chioma, who is going to be his wife in a few days. And Sophia has been crying online for a while now, you know, talking about um, him not being a very good father, not being present for their child, and a lot of back and forth. And at the point, even T. Wasabi's ex husband, um, you know, was calling out Davido, saying um, he's trying to make um, Sophia allow him to see Imadi. And people were questioning a lot of things. Why does Davido have to take permission this much to see Imadi? But now, I think Davido has had enough of it because sometime in April, even though the whole news just came out now publicly, Davido is dragging his baby mama, Sophia, to court. According to him, he just wants joint custody of his daughter, which is not a bad thing if you ask me. And now, Davido is giving reasons why he wants joint custody of this his daughter, that even though Sophia has always come online to say that he's um, not a very great father, he's um, not present and all that. Davido is saying that he has been there for his daughter, that up until now he still pays her school fees, um, you know, make sure her school fees is paid, you know. Um, according to him, he bought them a Range Rover, um, he actually bought a house that's worth 200 million for Sophia, and Sophia didn't want to stay in the house, and you know, she wants 5 million naira for her rent. In one of the um, reasons he gave, he said that one time the school called him and said that the daughter has not been in school for two weeks. And when he called Sophia, Sophia said the Range Rover was not good and he sent money for the repairs and also sent another Toyota Highlander so that the daughter can, you know, use that car. All this and a lot of other things Davido said. And he said all this is causing him pain because he does so many other things for his daughter. He also uh, makes tickets available for vacations here and there, you know. But after all these things that he does, he's baby mama Sophia still makes it difficult she makes it difficult to for him to access his daughter so and it's painful to him according to him so now let's get into the matter what do you guys think is the reason why Sophia might not want the video to see his daughter and I always say on this channel even if it's a man fighting for custody or a woman fighting for custody I always say that if that parent is not abusive to the child, please let the children see their parents. Because whenever relationships end, you always know that children are used as pawns because that's the only way you can actually get to the other person, considering that maybe love is lost. You know, the person does not care about you so much, so, but the person really cares about their child. So most times, the adults want to use the children as pawns. And people are saying, oh, um, the video has to... Um, ask um, Sophia to see the child and everything take permission I'm like why does he have to take that much permission to see his own child normally he's not even asking for full custody from everything that we know and this is not me trying to downplay whatever Sophie said the matter is not there in court so I guess she's going to go and say her own side of the story maybe we're going to hear it maybe we're not but talking from where the, what the video has said um you know this person should have joint custody it's easy and when it's even joint custody, the mother even has more time with the daughter than the video would have. No, and I, I know that the video cannot even have full custody of the child because he has other families. He's even more busy, you know, and so I know he's not even asking for full custody. So they can do joint custody so that nobody is taking permission to see their child. So imagine if the video is taking permission from Imade, his mother, to see Imade when he's not causing any harm to his daughter. I feel like that's extreme. 
you know so maybe he can have she can have her doing school period and the video will have her doing holidays then he will know how to run his schedule you know to see his daughter because right now the narrative is that he's not present for his daughter and now the video is saying that even though Sophia is saying he's not present, Sophia is making it very, very difficult for him to see his daughter that she's making very, very crazy demands. We don't know what those crazy demands are. Maybe Sophia will say them in court and we will get to hear what those crazy demands are. But right now, the video is probably um, has had enough of the whole back and forth with Imade's mother and he's dragging her to court. Um, I saw somebody say that it's ill timing you know considering that the video is having his wedding in a few days but if you look at this this um suit was filed in um somewhere in april so it's been a minute then secondly there's not going to be any good time to fight for your child you know if you didn't do this now they'll say you didn't do it if he did it after his wedding they'll say his wife is pushing him so i guess this is the best time to fight for his child to fight for custody at least um you know joint custody he has rights over his child as much as you the mother has in fact and this is to every couple fighting um over custody Every parent has the same right over the child. You know, the father has the same right as the mother. Stop dragging children back and forth. When people were in love, nobody was there to see you. Love went south. You know, perfect. Sometimes things don't work. Allow as long as the what either parent is not toxic to the child is not abusive please let these children see their parents please let them enjoy their parents please let them encounter their parents you might think you love them by keeping them away from a parent that is not toxic or abusive but in the long run you are doing more harm than good but let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section do you think that this is wrong timing for davido to sue um sophia or do you think he did what he had to do and do you think that this is best that he did this now i think it's actually a great stuff because if they have joint custody or shared custody, all this will highlight every time on social media will stop happening because everybody will know when they need to see the child or when they have time with the child. I want to know what your thoughts are, guys, in the comment section. It's the worst show. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.